Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to count down my top five opening tracks to an album. Now, a good opening track needs to be big and brash, and it needs to pull you in. Uh, it needs to be catchy, and it needs to be good, obviously, and, you know, it needs to be the perfect way to open your album. Um, not every album needs to have a perfect opening track. Uh, that's usually because I have an amazing closing track, but I'm going to do a separate video on my top five closing tracks soon. But I thought I'd start with the opening ones, because that makes sense. Now, uh, you probably have a different list than me, and that's fine. I'd love, love to hear them down below. And I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying this song is better than that song. I'm just saying, as an opening track, as the first song on your album, this is perfect. Now, it also, you know, in the age of the phone and digital streaming media, the album needs to be really good because if the opening track is a bit bland, but the rest of the album's all right, I might just skip the opening track, you know. I, I don't have an album where I do that on the phone, but some albums, you know, you might want to skip through it. Obviously, you can't with a vinyl, so the opening track, again, is then is really important. But let's get straight into it. So number five is Eminem with White America, which opens uh, the Eminem show. It is the perfect opening track. So it begins with Eminem walking on stage, and then he shouts, America, we love you, with these pounding, pounding heavy drums. Of course, Dr. Dre on production just destroys it. Amazing. These super heavy drums, and this really political song that's it still holds true today. I don't get into politics, but the, the lyrics are fantastic. But it's the beat with the drums that just make it as a perfect opening track to your album. They're so loud and heavy that you just want to bust the volume up and just jam the fuck out. It's perfect and a fantastic way to, to open your album. I'm going to say that a lot in this video, but just flawless because the, the beat makes it for me. You know, any other beat, if you swap the beat out from that song with another song, it would be terrible. That just makes it. And Eminem's vocal performance, his flow, is flawless. And just the perfect way to open a rap album. Now, that is the only rap song on this list. But at number four, something completely different, we have Pink Floyd with Breathe, Breathe in the Air. Where it's Breathe, hyphen, Breathe in, you know, just the perfect, especially, oh, I looked it up. Before I filmed this video, I looked up who did the female vocals on Dark Side of the Moon, and now I can't remember. Son of a... Mm. No, I can't. Whoever did, <laughs> did the female vocals as it leads in, with the uh, lyricless screaming vocals, are just stunning. And I love the way the simps build up, and then it's... Doom, breathe, breathe in the air. With, I believe, David, David Gilmore does the... No. No, it is Roger Waters, sorry does the vocals and it's just the perfect opening track to an album that is just fl a, fl a masterpiece in itself you know and it just it's it's iconic it's iconic in itself and when you you know if you've listened to the album a lot like i have you know how perfect of the opening track it is because it sets the stage for one of the greatest prog rock albums you will ever listen to uh, and i'm sure you've I mean, it's probably the most famous, oh, I don't know, one of the most famous albums on this list. Uh, but it's just amazing. Pardon me. <laughs> That's something. Anyway, number three, we have the Beatles with Come Together, down, 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 right now, over me. So again, this is iconic. This is one of the greatest songs of all time. And they, I believe they were sued by Chuck Berry because it sounds like a Chuck Berry song. It might be a different, I might be thinking of someone else, but it's just the perfect way to open Abbey Road. You know, I couldn't imagine any other song off Abbey Road being the opening track, like Maxwell Silver Hammer or She Said, you know, it just couldn't do it. It is the perfect, the, the one, two of Come Together and then Something is so iconic. That I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, it's one of the greatest pieces of music ever. And I adore it. And, and that guitar riff 
that infamous guitar riff. I do do da no no bum bum bum. It's just amazing, you know. And <laughs> I, I adore it. That's probably that's one of my favourite Beatles songs. It's so good. Um so just to recap, number five was Eminem with White America. Number four was Pink Floyd with Breathe. And number three was the Beatles with Come Together. So at number two, we have Oasis with Rock and Roll Star. Now, this is not only the opening track to an album, it's the opening track to their first album. Although it's not the first um, Oasis song, it kind of technically is in a way, if you count it just as an, an album track. And it's the perfect opening to a career. Uh, the roaring, roaring guitars are so iconic and amazing. And the lyrics about, you know, I live in a shithole, but I'm going to make enough money to get out of this town. And I'm going to go make something of my life. You know, my dreams are mine to make. And the chorus, this is just rock and roll. This is rock and roll. You know, for an opening track to an album that a band at the time no one had heard of. It's really cocky, but it's just superb. It's just straight up rock and roll. And it sets the stage for my favourite band and one of the well, my favourite album of all time. It's just amazing. The lyrics, Liam's vocals, Liam Gallagher's vocals back then were stunning. And he it's just such an iconic and amazing song. Uh, the demo version is amazing too. And there's a acoustic uh, Noel Gallagher version, which sounds great, but just amazing. Um, I'd limit myself to five songs because I didn't want to make another 17 minute list video. Um, so number one. Now, this album is not even, it's not my favourite album by this artist. But in terms of an opening track, as I've said, it is the pinnacle of opening tracks. It is the number one greatest opening track to an album ever. And I believe I've hyped up enough. It is Prince with Let's Go Crazy from this album, which I mean, this was the, the idea for this video came after listening to this. It's still on the record player. Um, I just think it's the greatest opening track to any album ever. I love the, the, the way the synths kick in at the start with Prince calling out like, you know that shrink in Beverly Hills? It's perfect. And <laughs> those synths are so iconic. That's just amazing. And the way then the beat just kicks in and the, it's just, it leaves me speechless how good it is. It's the pinnacle of opening tracks. And I love the end of the song with that awesome guitar riff. Where I'm assuming it's Prince on guitar. Just kicks at. And in terms of, you know, it sets the stage for an amazing album. And it grabs your attention from the opening, um, opening synths. And Prince calling out, I forget what he says because I'm a klutz, but... It's just brilliant, and it couldn't have been any better to open your album. Just stunning. So I hope you agree with me. You probably didn't. If you have your own list, let me know down below. Uh, stay tuned for a closing tracks video, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone.